Oh, hey everyone. Welcome to Camp Fever, aka Fort Kickass, here at the base of Gaines Mountain. Welcome you to tour this house with me and maybe check out some cool stuff. Let me go ahead and change my boots real quick. Well, what we're standing in here is uh, the front entrance of my cabin. It's about 800 and something square feet, I think. Built about 100 years ago, and this is the, uh, the main entrance, like I was saying, but uh, not the one I use most frequently, because you could steal a huge ton of snow be tracking into my house. Let's go ahead and take a look around this place. As you can see, here's the living room. We got plenty of seating area. Lots of pictures, extremely tall ceilings, probably 40, 50 feet tall. I can't really tell from this low to the ground. Uh, but yeah, living room here is very small, cozy, nice and warm with the fireplace, green couches because, you know, stylish like that. Goes very, very well with a log motif. Right back behind the camera here, we'll head into the bathroom. My favorite spot, the bathroom, right off the master. There's no door, but we don't need no privacy. We got a curtain right here. As you can see, filled with windows. You can't see out because the snow's so damn bright, but trust me, it is pretty freaking sweet. Clawfoot tub because we don't need nothing fancy. Held up by just some copper pipe. Seriously roughing it out here. Just kidding. This place is freaking fantastic. The sink, probably my most favorite part, or maybe it's the fireplace. I'm not sure. How many people have a fireplace in their bathroom? I don't know, but I do, and that's fucking sweet. Behind here, master, nothing big. Come through here, we'll go to the kitchen. Big old TV for playing video games on, like Mario Maker, my fave. Daughter's loft upstairs, pretty sweet. We'll go back here into the kitchen, check this place out. Tiny little place, but you know what? Totally my style. I'm a man, and look how tall these cabinets are. Very short, like me. The kitchen's teeny tiny the way I like it. Cabinet's nice and low, very suitable for my manlet self. And the ceilings, still can't quite reach them, but you can't ask for everything. In the kitchen, the pot hanger is sweet. If you haven't got one at home, you probably should, because talk about convenience. A shitload of kitchen appliances. That's what happens when you're married for 11 years. You accumulate a lot of that. And uh, the view, my absolute favorite thing in the kitchen. Sunrise here is incredible. Drink a warm cup of coffee, look out that window for a good hour, just enjoying the view. Leaving the kitchen here, we've got the dining room table. Been doing a ton of sewing here for these overkill straps y'all been ordering in my wife's art area. Before we go outside to the fun zone, I gotta introduce you to the family puppy. This is Zero, she's our toy fox terrier. And although sweet and precious, she will murder the hell out of some chipmunks, won't you? Yeah, so let's go outside and check out what we got going on in the snow. And back through this area, we've got the back door and the mudroom. Keeping all of our coats and stuff right here, so let's go ahead, get nice and warmed up so we can head outside. Alright, we got the boots on, gloves on. Hats on, jackets, snow pants, let's go outside and have some fun. Welcome to the outside. Here's the back door. Go ahead and give a look around. Aren't you too big to be up there? Who, me? Nah. Well, now that you've seen my house and the kick-ass backyard, let's go in the garage and train some. Uh. 
<clears throat> hey, what's happening, everyone? Hope you enjoyed the tour of my little mountain cabin. Staying nice and cozy up here in the mountains with my family and uh, really enjoying it out here despite the massive amount of snow that hit last week. What you're seeing here is some squats, some bench, somehow managed to work out through shoveling probably all of the arctic that fell on my back deck. Uh, my wife and I taking care of that nonstop through a week-long blizzard and when you got a big mountain of snow why not do something cool with it. So we made a little toboggan run. It was a good time. Also did some other cool stuff had a friend come out and visit, went snowboarding, shooting, snowshoeing, maybe snowshoeing and shooting at the same time, allegedly shot down a tree with some pistols. That's a fun fact right there. Uh, it's been fun this new year and uh, just now getting back into training seriously because I did have to take some time off, a week probably just from all that shoveling. Not even kidding, wear your ass out. Nobody's ever been in snow shovel shape. Not even Batman. Challenge me on that, I guarantee it. That's a thing, that's an unreachable goal. Nobody could be in snow shovel shape. So I tried my best, didn't manage it, uh, but still walked away alive with new robot arms and legs to take care of me completely wearing those things off, snow shoveling, and uh, still unable to make it through a really hard workout. I knew this was gonna be tough and uh, put the belt on just because I was feeling some fatigue and it was cold as hell in that gym. So the 365, I think I got six. I wanted to get eight, but definitely tired. Uh, lower back, pretty fatigued from all that damn snow and uh, still pushing through, not too bad. I wanted to keep the rep quality high. I probably could have grinded out another two reps on that 365, no sweat. I didn't want to do that. Dropped to 315 instead. A few sets of five. Repped out the last one. Got six. Nice and easy. After that, dropped to the T2, which I'm doing some bench press. Eight sets of three. This is just 245 or 111 kilos, something like that. Uh, and working on that consistency still. Working on touching that same spot. Showing you a bunch of different angles here and lots and lots and lots of repetitions keeping with that high frequency training hope you like the video hope you like my home subscribe to the channel thanks for watching Wipe out. <laughs>